Hi, I'm Nicole with CrucialVacuum.com, and I'm here with the Hoover T-Series Wind Tunnel, model number UH70120. If you're not sure if that's your model number vacuum, it's right there on the back. You can take a look. And today, we're going to be changing the belt. Unplug it, then put it down, and you're ready to work. Silver foot pedal. Open it up, and this is where you're gonna start. First, you wanna unlock. The red guys will tell you where to go. Unlock, and you just pop this off and put it aside. This is your brush roller, and right here is your belt. Now, you may notice at this point that your brush roller is looking a little sorry. The bristles are getting frayed. Things are stuck that you can't clean out of there. And you can go to CrucialVacuum.com while you're at it and get yourself a brush roller to replace it for this model as well. But to pop it out, you just very easily and slowly remove it. There you go. And you want to take that brush roller out nicely. Set it aside. You're not going to need it quite yet. Now you can see for this model and many others on the T-Series, the belt is stretchy. And you can also find the model number for the belt right here on the bottom. It says belt and a nice long number for you. Can you see it? And that is how you can order them off of CrucialVacuum.com because our belts serve exactly the same purpose, will do the same job, and fit the same models and ship to you for free. CrucialVacuum.com, awesome! So, get rid of that old belt, grab your CrucialVacuum.com belt, and get ready to thread that one back in. So if you remember the way I took it out, you just kind of thread it back up here. There's the little metal piece over there. That's kind of what makes it spin. And you just hook it on there. And here you go. Now again, it's nice and stretchy, so don't be worried. I need to sort of work on it a little bit and get that brush roller. And you'll see, you'll remember this is the area right here where the belt goes, right? So you want to stick it in this way. It's supposed to be snug, but if it's too loose, it wouldn't do its job, right? When you pop it back in, you do the, the side that's further away from the belt because you have a little more give there. And you just slide it in while you're holding down this side. And once that's in, hold down that side and kind of pull it down. It's back in. Do this a few times, make sure everything's working properly. And there you go. Take that piece again. Get it into the little parts there. Make sure your lock isn't in the way holding you back. And once it's in there, lock it up. And you're ready to go. See you on CrucialVacuum.com.